Hamilton. Late four. Many students. Good morning, everyone. Uh, our lesson today is lesson number ten. Draw lines of symmetry. Draw lines of symmetry. Page number nine hundred thirty-one. Okay. I would like to thank Hamdan if every day join us. Okay, thank you, my friend Hamdan. Uh, line of symmetry. Okay, a figure has figure has line symmetry. It can be folded over. Lines so that one half of the figure matches the other. And the other half matches to the other half. So the line of symmetry is a line that can divide the figure into two halves or into two equal parts into two halves again line of symmetry is a line that can divide the figure into two halves okay this fault line is called the line of symmetry again a figure has line symmetry if it can be folded over a line so that one half of the figure matches the other half. This fold line is called line of symmetry. Line of symmetry. Okay. We'll come up the reserve. Okay. Fashion. Okay, so if you have any empty paper, okay, if you fold it into two halves, the line in the middle, okay, it's called line of symmetry. Okay, I'll show you this short video about symmetry. Symmetry. Tell whether this figure has line symmetry. First, let's fold the figure in half, and then we'll unfold. Fold it. Now let's trace the fold. This is the line of symmetry. Do the two halves of the figure match? Yes, the top half of the figure is an exact match to the bottom half of the figure. Let's fold the figure in half a different way. The two halves of the figure do not match. This figure has one line of symmetry. Does this figure have line symmetry? We'll fold the figure in half and trace the fold. Yes, this figure has line symmetry. The top half is an exact match to the bottom half of the figure. Now let's fold the figure in half a different way. The two halves are exact matches. This figure has two lines of symmetry. Okay, again, again this video. Symmetry. Tell whether this figure has line symmetry. First, let's fold the figure in half, and then we'll unfold it. Now let's trace the fold. This is the line of symmetry. Do the two halves of the figure match? Yes, the top half of the figure is an exact match to the bottom half of the figure. Let's fold the figure in half a different way. The two halves of the figure do not match. 
This figure has one line of symmetry. Does this figure have line symmetry? We'll fold the figure in half and trace the fold. Yes, this figure has line symmetry. The top half is an exact match to the bottom half of the figure. Now let's fold the figure in half a different way. The two halves are exact matches. This figure has two lines of symmetry. Okay, another video. Hi, this is Mrs. Workman. Tell whether the figure has line symmetry. Write yes or no. Then tell how many lines of symmetry the figure has. Before we can do this problem, let's talk a little bit about line symmetry. Or line of symmetry. A line of symmetry is said to be a line on which a figure can be folded. So that its two halves match or are congruent. Let's take a look at the rectangle and see if there's a way we can fold it so that its two halves exactly match. What if I drew a line straight across the middle, like so? I think you could see that we could fold the lower half onto the upper half and the halves would match or they would be congruent. So that's one line of symmetry. Let's try drawing, try drawing a line down this way. This time I think you can see that we could fold the rectangle onto itself, fold the rectangle onto itself that way, using this as the fold line. So now that's another line of symmetry. To answer the question, the figure does have line symmetry and it has two lines of symmetry. This vertical one and this horizontal one. Okay now uh, let's go for the next page 932. As you see here, example number two, circle the figure was like this. Circle the figure that have line symmetry on those figures. Draw all lines of symmetry okay here I have what this what the name of this figure is called what four sides are equal this four right angles this called what remember for yesterday what is letter yes this is square so this square any polygon with four sides with equal sides or congruent sides and the congruent angles Okay, it's called regular. In a regular side, in a regular polygon or in a regular figure, okay, it has line of symmetries, not only one. Okay, so the number of line of symmetry to be the number of its sides. So I have square has four sides, so this one has four lines of symmetry. Also here I have this polygon. I can count the number of sides, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So it's called hexagon. Okay, hexagon has how many lines of symmetry? This is irregular because the sides are equal and the angles also congruent. Okay, so it will have six. Here I have triangle. This I cannot divide it into two equal parts or into two halves. There is no any line of symmetry here. Okay. Here, this half, I can divide it into two parts by drawing the line here. Okay, so this one has only one, one line of symmetry, as you see here. So I can, I will set the square, hexagon, and the half. Okay, and the lines of symmetry, as you see here, the square, square has four lines of symmetry. As you see, it's number one, number two, number three, and then number four. Four lines of symmetry. Here I have hexagon. Remember, square has four sides, so it has four lines of symmetry. Here, this hexagon, well, it has six sides. So it's Count the number of lines of symmetry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it has six lines of symmetry. How to draw lines of symmetry from any vertex to the opposite vertex, as you see here, uh, which you have, for example, here from the right square corner to the opposite square corner, I can draw lines of symmetry. From this square corner to its opposite, or to the opposite square corner, I can draw a line of symmetry. And from the center of the or the middle of the line, uh, sorry, of the sides, from this side is the center or the middle to the middle of the opposite side. Also from the middle or the center, it's called the midpoint of the side to the opposite midpoint to the opposite side. So here I can draw lines of symmetry. Also in hexagon, can draw here from, for example, from this vertex, from this vertex to the opposite vertex, or from this angle to its opposite angle, I can draw a line of symmetry. So, see, I can draw a line this one, this line divide the hexagon into two halves. See, one to three sides, and this on the other half, one to three sides. So to be similar, or sorry, to be congruent sides, or to congruent figures, into two halves. Okay, here the half has only one line of symmetry from this point to this point. Only I can draw only one line. If I draw another line from here, for example, it will not be two halves, not be the same. So I cannot draw here for the heart only one line of symmetry. This triangle, okay, it has no line of symmetry. Okay. Okay. So here I have only one line of Symmetry. Okay. Have you done with this one? Okay, I'm at first and then I'm down to the result of question. Yes. Oh, good morning, I'm going to Hi. How are you, man? Thank you for joining us for for, for participate. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Definitely just one. The result. Have you finished? I will. I will finish it. Okay, take your time. I would like to thank all the students they still participate with us in live sessions by Zoom. Thank you, everyone. And then Abdul Razak and Muhammad Paris. I appreciate your efforts and your participation. Okay. Dad. Yes, Sabir Azar. How I do it? Okay, you done? Finish? No, page 932. Yes. Example number two. I will see. You can picture this screen, uh, the result, and then you can do it later, okay? Or when you watch the video again, you can start the video at this and do it in your book. Okay. Okay. Now for the next the guided practice. Here, as you see, I have trapezoid. Determine whether each figure has line symmetry. If it does. Draw the line or the lines of symmetry. Okay, here I have number one. The name of this work is trapezoid. Okay, only I can draw one line of symmetry. Okay, so it has only one line. This and only one line. There is no line of symmetry here. Okay, so the answer is no. Number three. I have equidatural triangle has three lines of symmetry. So the answer is yes, and these uh, the lines of symmetry. Lines of symmetry. Okay, from the vertex to the triangle to the opposite line at the middle. So this vertex. From this angle to the opposite side at the middle. From this vertex to the opposite side of this vertex at the middle. Then draw line of symmetry. 
okay, only if the sides are equal. Okay, the other type if I have a circle is triangle is to have only one line of symmetry. Okay, then this. Okay, now let's go for the next page. Uh, determine whether each figure has line of symmetry or not. Right, yes or no, zero lines of symmetry on the figures that have line symmetry. Okay, start with number four. I have a star. This star with lines are congruent. So I can draw from each vertex of this star, I can draw a line of symmetry. So from this vertex, I can draw a line of symmetry. Number one, to this vertex. Number this number two with this vertex. Number three with this vertex. Okay. So now I can draw how many lines of symmetry as you see here. D. From each vertex, I can draw to the opposite vertex. So one, two, three, four, five. Six lines of symmetry. Okay, as you see, one, two, three, four, five, okay, six lines of symmetry, not sorry, only five. And the five lines of symmetry. One, two, three, four, five, okay. So now I have five lines of symmetry for star, for this star. Number five, here there is no line of symmetry, no lines of symmetry. This also, this curve has no lines of symmetry. This trapezoid, yes, has only one line of symmetry from this side to the other side from the middle to the side to the middle of the opposite side I can draw line okay okay you hear me Abdul Azaf right yes okay this page 933 okay you done no okay Take your time. Number four has the right yes. So draw line of symmetry and the result from vertex to the opposite vertex. From this vertex to its opposite vertex. And also from this vertex to the opposite vertex. Also from this vertex to the opposite vertex. I will continue like this from this vertex to the opposite vertex. From this vertex, I can draw a line of symmetry to this vertex. So if you count the lines, it will be five lines of symmetry. I'll write here five lines. There are five lines of symmetry. Here, no lines of symmetry. Also, number six, no lines of symmetry. Number seven, I can draw a line of symmetry from this two of the sides from the middle of this side to the middle of the opposite side. I can draw only one line of symmetry, so I have only one line. Okay, Abdelazaf, have you done? Yes. Okay, good. Next one.
still in the same grade. Circuit the figures that have line symmetry. Okay, cross out the figures. Okay, that don't have line of symmetry. If there is no line, cross it through X like this. There is no line of symmetry for this trapezoid. And this octagon, this has eight sides, it's called octagon. If you count the number of one, two, yeah, finish. Okay, go four, five, six, seven, eight sides in this octagon. It has this regular, so it has line of symmetries. Lines of symmetry, I will circle this cross, no line of symmetry. I'll cross this one, there are no line of symmetry. Here has line of symmetry or the one line of it as circuit. Okay, here it has line of symmetry. Okay, okay, without the result. Uh, next, here determine whether the dots line, the dot. The dotted line, this one, is a line of symmetry or not? A rectangle has two lines of symmetry, as we know. But this line is called the line of symmetry? No. Why? Because they are not the same. If you fold this rectangle, okay, over this dotted line, it would be not the same, it would not be the over the other one. Okay, so this one, no. This is also no, but this is yes. If you fold this one to the other one, it would be the same. I will show you, for example, this one. If I shade this part, it equals to this one. Not equal, not the same. But here, if I shade this, or I, if I color this and fold it to the other one, as you see, it will be the same part. To be two halves, exactly two halves. If you fold this to the other one over the dotted line, it will be the same. Okay, it will be the same as one half. Okay, done this one under the result? Yes. Okay, good. Let's go direct or fast for this. Self check. Okay, about the lesson. Okay. Tell whether the line or the figure could be divided in half by the shaded line or by the dashed line. I have this line. It can be line of symmetry or not? Yes or no? This line of symmetry or not? This yes or no, uh, there is a, this, this line. Divide the figure into two halves or not? Yes or no? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent answer. And number two, uh, tell whether the figure could be divided in half. Yes. yes or no? If you fold this shape over this line, it will be the same. You one half. I have now two halves. So this one, yes. Okay? Okay, number three, this is yes or no? Now there is a, this, if you fold it, they are equal to vertices. this equals this. And there is a, okay, as you see here, this part smaller than this one. So the answer is no. Okay, number four. Okay, 
tell you whether the figure has line symmetry. Uh, so tell how many lines of symmetry the figure has. This has lines of symmetry or not? I can draw lines like this. Let me take the pen. Okay. See from this vertex to this vertex, I can draw line. Okay, and also from the middle of this side to the middle of the opposite side, I can draw another line of symmetry. So it has how many lines of symmetry now on the result, as you see? How many lines? One, two. So it has two lines of symmetry. So the answer is yes, two. Okay, yes, two. B. Okay. Okay, number five. This was in your book. How many lines of symmetry? As I said before, for each vertex, I can draw lines of symmetry. I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So yes is five lines of symmetry. Okay. So the answer here is letter A. Okay. One hundred percent. Okay. Now we are finished. Please log in your account at SPS and solve your electronic homework in the school of life. Okay, any question? Okay, now we are finished. Okay, see you soon, inshallah. Have a nice day and be careful. I would like to uh, notify you about the competition. Okay, that's sent to the groups. Please go ahead with the math about uh the meter and area and also classify triangles this is your competition on the map about the meter and the area and also classifying triangles okay have a nice day and